welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this fun, colorful, summery look. Just to jump straight into it, we're going to start out with using some concealer just to get an even base on the lid and prepare for the shadows. If you're more of an eye primer type of gal, then you know, just apply that right now, but I find that concealer works fine for me. I'm just spreading it around with my finger. And then I'm setting that with some translucent powder just so it doesn't crease and make the shadows blend a whole lot easier. I'm going to go into my Morphe 35B palette with this blue shade and start blending it into the crease. And just in order to build up that color, I'm just going back and forth with that blue shade and my translucent powder just to make sure that there's a seamless blend. And now for the most important color of this look, I'm taking Makeup Geek Peacock and I'm blending that underneath that original blue shade we set down and just blending it out. And now because we're going to do a half cut crease, I'm going to take some of that Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and start to map out where my crease is. This can take some time to learn how to do for your eye shape, but just keep practicing and eventually you'll figure out what looks best on you. I've only recently just figured out what looks best for my eye shape, so don't feel bad if you don't get it the first try. So now dipping into this NYX Ultimate Brights palette, I'm going to take this teal shade and start to pack it onto the lid. I'm only putting this on the inner half of my eyelid and packing all the way up to the crease. Now dipping back into that Morphe 35B palette, I'm going to take that blue shade that we used first in the crease and start to blend that into the teal shade to create a nice transition. And now we're going to dip back into Peacock by Makeup Geek and blend that into the outermost corner to add some depth. Because we're going for that half cut crease look, it's fine to blend out the outer corner as much as you want, but be sure the inner corner stays sharp. Now picking up some NYX Glitter Glue and some Glitter by Jazzy Glitter from Instagram, I'm going to pack that onto the center of my eyelid and carefully blend it out so it's not just like a big splat of glitter in the middle of the eyelid. We want more of a gradient. Now for the eyeliner, I'm going to be taking the CC Beauty Face Paint Palette and I'm just going to grab that yellow shade and start to map out my eyeliner. I should have done this before the glitter, but you know, we were just winging this look. It's fine. Now going back into that same NYX palette, I'm going to take this yellow shade and set the face paint that we use for the eyeliner so that it doesn't move around. I also decided to go in with the second layer of the face paint and the eyeshadow just to make sure that the eyeliner is super intense and bold. Now to prepare for the falsies, I'm going to just coat my lashes with some of this Rimmel mascara. When wearing fake lashes, it doesn't really matter what kind of mascara you're wearing as long as it gets your lashes super black and curled. And now for lashes, I chose this pair from Lashaholics in the style Ellie. When you're wearing false lashes, the key is to really pinch the false lash up to your natural eyelash line so they can blend as naturally as possible. And can I just say, this Kiss Lash Glue with aloe is actually trash. Like, don't buy it. It burns your eyelids. It made me take so much longer when putting on my eyelashes, so from now on, I'm just gonna stick to my trusty old duo. And now to beat this face, I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro HD foundation in the fair shade and the white mixing shade because I'm a little pale right now. And I'm just going to use a Real Techniques foundation brush to buff that around my face. And then after that, I'm going to go in with a beauty blender just to smooth it out and be sure everything's blended seamlessly. Be sure you're bringing down your foundation all the way down to your necks, folks. And now going back in with my Tarte Concealer, as you can tell I love this stuff, and I'm using that just under my eyes to conceal and get rid of any dark circles or what have you. And then I'm just using the warmth of my finger to further blend that out and be sure that it blends really nicely with my foundation. And now just taking some translucent powder, I'm going to pat this under my eyes and on my forehead and then I'm going to bake my smile lines. These are the only areas that I add power to because I have really dry skin and if I add too much powder then I end up looking really flaky. I've only recently just started baking my smile lines and I've noticed a huge difference so I definitely recommend that if that's something that you have an issue with too. Now dipping into my contour kit, I'm going to take the two, the well, the left shade and the center shade and I'm just going to start bringing this around my forehead to kind of give it the appearance of looking a little smaller and giving it some warmth and I'm also going to contour the cheekbones a little bit to give the illusion that, you know, I actually have some. And now to start the highlighting process, I'm going to take my favorite product, the CoverFX Custom Enhancer Drops, and just pat these onto my cheekbones to 
give a little base for when we put on the actual highlight so it is blinding. I find that fingers work best for blending out this product. And now to set that highlighter with some more highlighter, of course, we're going to take this ColourPop highlighter. How many times can I say highlighter? And we're just going to blend this with a little tiny Morphe brush where we put the cover effects drops. And now taking this ColourPop blush, I'm going to blend this in between the contour and the highlighter just to blend them together nicely. And of course going back in with that um, ColourPop highlighter and adding it onto my nose and my cupid's bow. And now going back into that contour kit, I'm going to take the center shade and attempt to contour my nose a little bit. I'm still learning how to do this right but I find that adding any little bit of color around my nose helps it to not sink into my face. And now to line the lips, I'm going to take this Boldly Bare Lip Liner from MAC and kind of overdraw my lips because I just always tend to do that. I wasn't blessed with full lips, so any little bit helps. Now taking this MAC liquid lipstick in the shade Back in Vogue, I'm just going to add that on top of where I added the lip liner. And just to be sure that everything looks clean, I'm going to go in with some Tarte Shape Tape and just clean up the edges of my lip line. And that is the finished look! I hope you guys learned something from this tutorial, and if you want to see me do another one, please request some looks below. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys! I wanna see the light.